Hello guys, it is me, Joe, and I got my new capture card yesterday. And the only reason why I didn't make a video then is because I was having a really hard time with this capture card, and I'm surprised. I was fiddling around with it for probably four hours until I came across something that actually worked. <clears throat> so I'm actually using a totally different setup. It took me a long time to set things up, surprisingly, because what I was trying to do is since I usually use Amarac TV, I was trying to use this with Amarac TV, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem that it this capture card is compatible with Amarac TV, which I find really weird because the Diamond VC500 is what I used previously, was compatible with, the, with Amarac, and the Diamond GC500 is compatible with Amarac, but the Diamond, the Diamond GC1000, which is what I'm using currently, does not seem to be compatible, which is really unfortunate because I, I love Amarac TV and it had tons of great fe features and overall was just a really good program. But <clears throat> what I'm using right now is really great because what I'm pretty much doing is since I have two monitors, one monitor is also a TV screen which is really like extremely convenient so what I'm what I did is I switched my monitor over to um, component which is what I'm running this through so I have my Wii running into the component which is displaying on my second monitor and I have other component like I have another set of component cables running to my TV which is how you would normally play like, that's norm. like, I can't talk, that's usually how you would play the game, but I'm used to just playing it off my capture card, because what Amarek does, it, it has, like, absolutely no input lag, which I loved, so I could play off the capture card and not use a TV, but the bad thing about this is what I do and what you see, there's a two second delay, so when I jump, Mario jumped on my screen, but for you, he's just jumping. So that can be a problem, because if I get, like, if I'm reacting to something, and you guys don't know what I'm reacting to, and two seconds later you see what I'm reacting to, that's, that's just really weird. And another thing is, the TV that I'm looking at to play does not have any sound coming out of it. It's coming out of my... <coughs> Um, it's coming out of my, um, second monitor, which is weird, too, because since my TV is faster than the monitor, meaning that since there's a two-second delay in the monitor, when I jump, monitor doesn't make a sound, but two seconds later, you hear the jumping sound. It won't be weird for you, because, like, that's what you're, that's normal to you. It looks like it's real time, but for me, it's two seconds. So enough explaining about that. Right now, I'm going to look at what Toad has for me, because this is actually a letter from Luigi. And bro, I got a star. And this is the one where I was thinking where Luigi was on a tree, but I couldn't remember where he was. So this is the second level on um, in the first dome. And no, I did not look at that before the like I started the video. I just remember where that level is, because it's like... I don't know, I just visited, I went to it so many times, that's how I know, <laughs> and you know, um, like you know when you're at the right one when there's a question mark, that's not the case all the times, like maybe there might be a hidden star there, but when you see a question mark, like if you think Luigi's somewhere and if you see a question mark, that's a good sign that he's actually there, and Luigi is in that tree right there. That tree that was in the cutscene. I was trying to point to it. Right. That tree right there where the cursor is. So, you, since this is like the first star, you don't usually go over there. Because where Luigi is, let me go into first person here. Let me avoid this rock, actually. Okay. Usually what you would do in this star is get the coin and go to the Queen Bee. But what 
where Luigi is, he's actually over here, right there. And I'm actually going to knock him off the tree if I can. Which I can't, because I'm not angled. Good. So yeah, Luigi's over here, and you don't usually go over there in this star. So you might be wondering, like, how do you get over there? And I'm actually going to do it, like how I always do it. I don't know if this is how it's intended to be done. But this is how I've always done it, so this is just how I'm going to do it. And it doesn't always work 100% of the time, but it works a lot of the time, if not most. And you won't always make it. Like, you barely make it. And I hope this is not how it's intended to be. And if that rock hit me, I was... I don't even know. I think when you're Luigi, that's an L. Like, in the Star Bits. So what I always did... Like, what I've always done is I just flew up there, but since it, there's water, if you miss, you'll turn it back into regular Mario, and you have to walk all the way back and get the mushroom again. So what you want to do is get a running start, and you want to jump right when you get to the water, but you don't want to touch the water. And I think that was actually too late. And yes, I actually did it. So now the thing is if I can even get to Luigi, because I don't exactly know where Luigi is. <clears throat> does this spawn up? No, it does not. I think now I remember. If this isn't a vine, then okay, you gotta go up here. Which, this can be really annoying, and it's really easy to fall off. So I recommend staying close to the right when you're going up this, because... If you do fall off, you fall back on to the stage, not to your death, which is a good thing. And Luigi should be right here. And if you wanted to, if you have good aim, you could have, like, be standing right here and you could have shot him down. But I think you can just touch him. At least I think you can. Yes, you can. So here's the star right here. And Luigi looks... He looks mad. Well, not mad, he looks annoyed that I just knocked him off the tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like his little sound. <clears throat> and the weird thing is, if you're playing as Luigi, you'll see a clone of yourself. They should have made it Mario, but it wouldn't make sense for Mario, Mario to be up a tree and be scared of the enemies. So they pro that's probably why they kept it as Luigi, but still. I would have... Like, I just think that would be cooler, in my opinion. <coughs> my throat is not exactly doing the best today. And I almost have 100 stars. Now, I'm not going to save. Like, from now on, I'm not going to save. And I'm going to save at the very end. Well, not at the very end. What I'm going to do is, when I'm done with the, when I'm done with the actual recording, I, I'm going to pause the video. And then I'm going to see if it's going out okay. And if it is, I'll stop it. Because I don't want to, like, save and then, like, find out that the video wasn't recording the whole time. And that it's saved. And I can't redo it. I'll just have to, like, show you where everything is. And that's not fun. And another thing that I like what Nintendo did is they gave the blue toad glasses. I don't know if this, like, if... Like, I don't know if only the Blue Toads have glasses, that's just how I've seen them. And I think in the, um, what's it called, Toad's Treasure Tracker, the Blue Toad has glasses. Which is really cool because my favorite color is blue and I'm also wearing glasses. I just thought that was cool, I don't know. So, I'm just gonna go here and complete the last star, which is the blue one. I'm pretty sure I've already completed the yellow and green one, now I just gotta go to the blue one. So I want to go to the loop de swoop. Okay, loop de swoop, I think. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Makes you wonder. Wait, is this another race, like ray surfing? Yes, it is. Okay. Don't ask me how I remembered that. For some reason, I just remembered that. Now, this one is hard. I think it's hard. Look at this. What the heck? Does that not look intimidating? That looks hard. It probably is not all that hard, but it, it really looks cool. I wonder if, like, if you could just, like, screw yourself out of the star 
and like just jump into the water from here. You probably can't, but that'd be cool if you could. <clears throat> you again back for more ray surfing? This course is a monster. You know what else is a monster? You. Your giant talking penguin monster. Okay, now I think you hold the A button. Let me actually set up for this because I was leaning back in my chair. And how do I... Okay, it's A and B. <laughs> I forgot how to surf. And this is really skinny. And you have to beat a time on this too. So you have to beat a minute and 30 seconds. I think you do anyway. Well, it would make sense because you have to come in first. And if the best time is 130, then it would make sense for you to beat it. Now, this is probably the hardest part right here. I don't know, there's probably some really skilled people that can like do this really easily without stopping, but I'm not one of them. And as you could see, there were a lot of 1-Up Mushrooms that you could get, which makes a lot of sense because Nintendo imagined that people would mess this up. And you could actually skip that, which is what a lot of pros do, but I'm not a pro, so I'm not going for that. And I'm already at 105, and oh my god, I just got scared. I, I legitly thought I jumped off the side, I just did, dang it. And there's a goal, no. I was gonna win, well, I thought it was longer than that, but obviously it wasn't. <clears throat> No cutting or anything, because I think that got boring, like all the cutting stuff. And I think I did it a little bit too much in my previous episodes. So I'm actually going to refrain from doing so. And I'm going to concentrate this time. But just because I knew that the goal was, like, right there and I still had more than 20 seconds, that doesn't mean that I'm going to go totally slow. I, I want a good time, but I don't know. If you think about it, it doesn't really matter if you have a good time. As long as you beat a minute and 30 seconds, then you're golden. You don't need to get, like, under a minute. I guess if you're doing this for fun, then you could. That could be why Nintendo gave you, like, a lot of 1-ups. Just in case you wanted to do this for fun. And, like, the 1-ups aren't hard to get at all, so you can just pick up the 1-ups. And let's not fall here this time. Whoa, that was a big jump. And if you tilt the Wii Remote up, you can actually jump. I think this is... Please tell me this is the end. Yes, it is. So that's all I had to do. That wasn't that hard. Well, hey, everyone wants to see you, so drop and say hello. Okay, another thing is I, I, I actually took the HUD off of my capture so I can no longer see the time. There is a reason why I did that, but if I explained why I took the HUD off, it would be a long, long, long explanation, and you would not want to hear it. So I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be doing one more star, maybe. And let's see if Rosalina wants to talk to us or not. Galaxy complete, high score updated, save the game? Um, no. <clears throat> um, Rosalina, do you have anything to say? It's time, no? No? Stop the epic music, wait, wait, I don't want to do it. The epic music, man. Um, let me look at this board, because I've never looked at it new. It says there's something new here, but, um, <clears throat> Can I feed any more hungry Lumas? Because I think there's one for 1,500 and I just need a couple more star bits to actually do that. So let me actually just go up quick and see if there... I know there's at least two more hungry Lumas or one, I don't remember. But I don't remember offhand how many star bits they want. I know it's over a thousand, since I'm late in the game, they want a lot of star bits. And there's one over here, I think. No, not over there. What happened to little floating planet? There it is. So this one probably wants 2,000 star bits. And if it does, it's just my luck. 
How many star bits do you crave? 1,200. Okay, yes. Thank you, Mommy. So I'm going to do this right now. And probably in the next video, I'm going to grind more star bits. Or whatever. Because, um, I don't know what I should be doing. Because the other stars, like, they looked like all the other domes were kind of completed. Like, I couldn't really do anything. But maybe that'll, like, stuff will become more available once I'm done with this. I don't exactly know. Oh, racing the spooky speedster. I remember this all too well. That skull looks cool. That skull reminds me of... I'm, I don't know why. It reminds me of Sonic Adventure 2. The skull that you pick up. I don't know why. Out of all things, it reminds me of that. Just <laughs> don't question Joe. <clears throat> oh, this is a different race, actually. I was thinking of something else that I think I've already done it, actually. But there, there was another race with Boo, and now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did already do it. So you're after it, too. You'll have to race me for it. Sure. I like how he just puts down the thing. Let's go. Can you get a boost off this? I don't think you can. So this shouldn't be too hard, all you're doing is pressing A and then shaking the weird mode. And of course, right as I say that, I just mess up. And these... Dang it. You can only become invisible for so long, and if you do it at the wrong time, then you're kind of screwed and have to sit there. And I do not remember this course at all, so if I mess up, then I just do, I guess. And... That's like some sort of satellite or something. And I don't know how long this is, but I assume this is not hard since I already, like I seem like I'm a decent way ahead. Yes, I am. Goal 130. So this will probably be the last star of this video. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this star. Why does everyone have a star in this game? Do booze eat people? Why are there skeletons here? Does this remind anyone else of Mortal Kombat? Like, good god. <laughs> Do you see that skull? That skull, like the mouth is moving. The jaw is moving. <clears throat> so, hope this video was better. Like, hope the quality and all that is good. And I will see you next time. Booze Boneyard Galaxy, Galaxy Complete. So now I have a total of 101 stars. And I will save here because I just checked and I know that the thing is good. So I'll see you probably tomorrow. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm going to try to record a lot more. Now that I have my capture card and like that... Like, I just can, I, like, I, I can't talk. I just can, like, I can record more. So, with that being said, goodbye, guys. Hope you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this, if you watch it. And I will stand right next to Rosalina as I sign off. Goodbye.